Hey good people, get ready for the Morocco vlog. I'm getting ready to head to the airport tomorrow to embark on a trip that honestly is on my bucket list. And I am drinking right now some kombucha because I'm really going to get prepared. Really going to get prepared, mind, body, and soul to take in everything that is the city of Marrakesh and the immediately surrounding areas. I am tagging along as a plus one on my friend Imani's trip. I'll make sure that her information is down below. You want to follow her for all things travel and expatriation. Uh, I've just been so inspired by her content and learning about living abroad, and this trip will be no different for sure. Come up here and get you one of these. That's the um. Justice Tumblr. It of course has a lid and a straw. I took that off so I can really have easy access to the kombucha. It's available on justice.com. Justice is my podcast, of course. The trip is all hands on deck. We land in Morocco at about 3 p.m. Our first reservation, I think, is at 5. The next day, it goes a little something like that as well. It is a press trip for her. And so that means we will be working. I'll be assisting her with content, but also enjoying a place that has been on my bucket list for quite some time. But as I get ready, mind, body, and soul, today I have a therapy appointment with my BetterHelp therapist. Many thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring a portion of today's video. If you're not new around these parts, then you know I have been seeing a better help therapist for quite some time. And I've been in therapy for over a decade. And it's honestly the best wellness practice and habit that I have ever given myself. It's helped me to understand myself better. It's helped me to navigate very difficult times and also given me the encouragement to keep pushing when things are positive. What I love about BetterHelp though is the ease it is to connect with a the therapist. Everything is done online on their website or via app. You can connect to a therapist that fits whatever criteria you were looking for, whether it be identity or expertise. They've helped over 1.2 million people access a licensed, yes, a licensed counselors online. And what I love is that it is both affordable and easy. As far as the ease is concerned, you receive so many emails, tips, and tutorials. It's not overwhelming. It's just enough to help you to understand how to navigate the platform. If you were going through a moment of crisis, the last thing you need are additional barriers in helping you to be able to have access to a clinician. They have completely eliminated that. So I'm going to get ready for my appointment, but I will make sure that a link is also down below in the description and in a pinned comment. If you have also been in therapy, if you are using BetterHelp, please let us know. I feel like we need to be having more conversations, just writ large, not just on this platform, about the power of mental health and wellness. All right, let's get into this therapy appointment, y'all. needed and welcomed session. Um, one of the things that I am working on in therapy, y'all, is just welcoming a little bit more flow into my life. Um, it seems, it is, not even seems, let's keep it a stack, um, that I am always in the midst of something. I'm always running. I'm always trying to do the thing with the thing. I'm in different cities, in different area codes, on different continents. I am posting across different platforms. I'm in different Zoom meetings and calls. It is just not a current through line to my life. And what I'm recognizing is that I have to create that for myself, right? There will always be different and disparate circumstances and I have to decide how, how I am going to show up and how I am going to maintain self in the midst of it all. So once again, all the information for BetterHelp will be down below. And I'm very happy also that I was able to just check in before going on the trip to Morocco. Y'all, so let me tell you how God works. I have been saying for years that there are two places in particular that are on my bucket list. Morocco and Greece. Going to Morocco tomorrow, going to Greece. 
in October. And I just feel so grateful for that. Uh, right now, however, I am going to go and have some lunch and finish packing. So the next time I see you all, I will be at the airport. We're going to first leave from the DC metro area and go to JFK. It's just an easier flight from JFK. We have a four hour layover in Paris at the Charles de Gaulle airport. And from Paris, we will land in Marrakesh. Now we already know what the Charles de Gaulle airport is hidden on. Okay. <laughs> Cause the way that tax free shopping works, the way those prices in Europe works for luxury goods, I might have to get into a couple things. So make sure you stay tuned. I'll see y'all soon. <laughs> the people we are at the Charles de Gaulle airport in Paris not quite in Marrakesh uh, but we have been traveling for 24 whole hours that is why I have the coffee here had a quick breakfast at Pret um, last night's flight was perfectly fine I slept Imani and I for most of the flight got up this morning and we were in Paris so uh, Charles de Gaulle as you know is known for shopping so we're about to get out here and do a little bit of that um, a full inside view however is going to be in the politics and the fashion tribe so we'll hop over there if you want to see what the shopping is really like at Charles de Gaulle in the meantime though I will see y'all in Marrakesh We are almost there. This has felt like a hodge, a pilgrimage to Mecca, okay? But we're almost there. Um, we are now in the customs line, getting ready to go through. Next stop, Shell to be our Riyadh. Stay tuned. Really quick first outfit of Morocco, of Marrakesh. Earrings are from Zara. Cover up is from Amazon. Something's from a small boutique in Tulum. Second cover up is the Dior robe. And I shot with and without this, but my goal 
was to just have a little bit of texture. All right, hopefully tomorrow my face will be a little bit less puffy. Uh, rest is in order and, and also a good cocktail. Perfect. First night in Morocco, we are headed to dinner. Money, money, money. <laughs> Hello, everyone out there. <laughs> headed down to a breakfast and I'm gonna properly feel y'all later because I feel like things have been so incredibly rushed we haven't really had a chance to have a chit chat let's go all right so let's catch up y'all I don't remember how much I told you about the hotel but if I have not mentioned it it is Riyadh Luciano also um it is tucked away in the Medina area of Morocco and we are sitting out by the pool this morning waiting to have breakfast which I'm really excited about <coughs> They're going to start off with a cappuccino. Caffeine is necessary because the way this jet lag is set up, honey. Um, and then I'll see what a traditional Moroccan breakfast is like. <laughs> uh, last night, Imani and I went to Dar Zalij. Yep, perfection. Dar, Dar Zalij for um, dinner. Imani almost got ran over by a scooter multiple times. <laughs> I don't know why it was always you, though. <laughs> I'm like, Lord, get us home in one piece. Um, and we had a Moroccan salad was our first course. And it was so interesting because each part of the salad came out on an individual plate. And it was prepared separately. So not at all what we think of as a salad in the States. It was very, very good. And then... We had um, beef tagine or tahine, not sure how to pronounce it, for our main course. And we um, had Moroccan tea and pastries for dessert. The customer service was out of this world. I do wish we would have had a different main course, but it wasn't because of them. It was just because I'm not that big of that type of beef eater. But it was still, you know, tasty. The vibes were amazing. and. I just can't believe the ways in which we've been welcomed. Now, Imani is here because of a press trip, and I am her plus one. And so part of it, I'm wondering, is it because people know that she's here to write reviews and do all the things, or is this just the vibe? I'm thinking it's the latter. Um, as we were walking to dinner last night, we had a little kind of tour of the part of the Medina that we're in, and I found this jewelry shop that is... So definitely want to stop by there, although they're saying don't buy anything until you get to the Sooks. Our driver yesterday told us that um, a lot of the goods that are actually in other parts of the Medina are not traditional. They're from China. So he's like, wait until you get to the Sooks. But this jewelry looks so immaculate. I, I, it, it was made in China, so, so be it. So I hope I have a chance to take you all by there, but I'm sure there are great jewelers all over the city, of course. As far as shopping for me, I want all the textiles. I want rugs, I want pottery. I brought an empty suitcase to make sure this happens, all right? <laughs> I did a little bit of shopping, y'all would have seen um, at Charles de Gaulle. I'll show you what I got, I'm sure, at some point during the vlog. Um, if you're part of the tribe, then you've already seen it. Ooh, here goes juice, and I think this is fresh fruit. I'm so excited. Oh, this is cereal. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, this is a hot soup. Oh, this is a hot soup. Yes, it is. Orange juice. Thank you. 
We are headed to the Agape Desert today. We are staying at a desert camp overnight, but we're gonna be there all day long, which is gonna be nice. I feel like we just wanna like get someplace and be settled after over 24 hours of travel. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it to get here. But now it's just about kind of coasting into the rest of the trip. Um, outfit of the day for this part of the day is really easy, y'all. The weather is, I mean, it's desert temperatures, right? So there's no humidity. It's very, very warm in the middle of the day, but it's cool in the morning and evening. So I'm just wearing a linen shirt by Fendi, my Margiela MM6 jeans. This is actually my nature, the label necklace. I mean, body chain that I'm wearing as a necklace. Lulu hoops, same bust down wrist. Fendi <laughs> slides, and that is gonna be the vibe. I actually kinda need to go upstairs and put a jacket on because it's cool. Um, but you all are blinking here, so let me wrap this up because I don't know how much power I'm going to have in the desert. Um, I will see y'all soon, and let me show you breakfast. Y'all, so we just got to the camp. Girl, uh, why did the very nice concierge tell us that we didn't have many running water, no shower, we had to sleep no, on the couches, but he, he said we don't have nothing here. Meany Money was like, just quietly ready to gather our things. <laughs> Cause that ain't the life. I know I'm in the desert, but I'm not built for that desert life. That was hilarious. And now we will have tea and I can't wait to show y'all around. So we made it to our tent and everything is absolutely lovely. It is a huge bed, a sitting area, a bathroom. 
<laughs> also a shower, a sink. I mean, this just does not feel like the desert. This is glamping at its finest for sure. The only thing is there was some issue with the power specifically beside our bed, but no worries. They came in and right away they're getting ready to move us to another room. So Imani and I are going to shoot while they do that. We have about another hour or so until lunch is prepared and we're just going to create some content but get into this for you. Lunch was amazing. It literally saved us because we were on the brink of mammatization. Um, so it was delicious. It was um, ground beef, like basically meatballs and a tomato sauce. Sorry, I don't know the name. Roasted vegetables, also a fresh cucumber and tomato salad, fresh cucumber juice, and I had a glass of wine and all of it was so delicious. Uh, after that, we came back here. As you can see, I am now changed because we are in the desert and of course as the sun begins to set it gets a little cool um and uh, so we are going to go up and watch the sunset in just a minute but let's do because i'm gonna wear this to the sunset as if i need an outfit for that but you know i decide to just jazz up the graphic tee a little bit and let's do an orange box unboxing i could not resist <laughs> Charles, I was supposed to say Heathrow. I was not in London, girl. I could not resist uh, Charles de Gaulle Airport. And so, I got, obviously, a scarf. And this one is actually made an inspiration or inspired by Gene Kelly, the American dancer. Let me just sit down so I can actually show you. This is what it looks like. And if you look closely, you can also see the letters of his name written. I would love to actually just put this on. Sorry, y'all. I would love to just put this on around my head because y'all know I'm that person. And I might do that. It's a little drama, a little extra, a little why not, you know, you know. Uh, but what I'll probably just do is put it around my neck because it actually is pretty cool. I mean, there are a million and one ways to wear Hermes scarves. This one is, don't get me to lying, y'all. I, I believe it's 70 by 70, and I say that because I don't think, I think the 50 by 50 is the bandana size, and 70 by 70, um, is the one that depending on your size actually for me will fit around my top um around my bust as a top and you could just wear it either way you should just tuck this i mean i would cut it off if i was at home and i mean I, what i really can't wait to do when i get back home for spring is uh, to go ahead and do this right here y'all already know this moment <laughs> and then it just would tie in the back like that and i probably would actually do this with a skirt it has so many amazing colors in it the base is yellow and ironically i don't have a lot of yellow well not ironically y'all know i don't wear a whole bunch of color and when I do, it tends to be orange. 
but this is a vibe so we just gonna throw that on like that right there let me put my earrings on i just washed my face well my foundation off just kept my lash and a little eye makeup i am gonna sit here now and read my book i am almost done with the vanishing half so amazing i'm on page 318 chapter 15 let me know down below no spoilers if you have read this book this is my second book by Britt bennett and i think she is absolutely brilliant then i'm gonna do a little bit of journaling uh, this is a goyard agenda cover that i got last summer and i have this mouths to go agenda in it that my best friend gave me for my birthday when i turned 40. So I think that's a good way to spend the evening. We'll have dinner as well. Obviously, we'll take you along. We have a perfect view waiting for the sun to set. Got my blanket, okay, put a little scarf around my neck. We can't be out in that night air. Could even caught one of them night air colds in the desert. I don't even know what that's gonna feel like. I'm not prepared. My immune system is not, it ain't what it used to be. So I had to put that scarf around my neck to protect my neck in the night air. In that desert, in the desert. <laughs> you might stop laughing in the desert night air. Cause that desert night air is gonna hit different. Something, and I, I gotta protect my neck. So girl, we just sitting here, and the mountains are beautiful. <laughs> Good morning from the Agafe Desert. I am reporting live from the Dar Ina camp. I don't know if I told y'all that yesterday, the name of the actual place that we are staying. I'm probably backlit, but just rock with me for a second because I am going to the main camp to, huh? Oh shit. <laughs> if we locked in, ain't no switching. <laughs> Girl, I don't lock the money in the thing. Let me just say, that the best part of being in the desert is that you're in the desert. The worst part of being in the desert is that you're in the desert. Uh, so it is, <laughs> the way the temperature drops at night, we just weren't prepared. It's nobody's fault. I mean, that's just <laughs> the way the desert is set up. The desert is desert. Um, and so last night it was probably about 30 degrees, no cap. And we were under two blankets. I'm wearing a full pajama set, a bathrobe. I had a do-rag on, just could not get warm. So that is for sure a pro tip. And let me just show you where I am walking. Main camp is out there. It's a little bit of a hike, but not bad. The seclusion actually is very much welcomed. I would love to come back here and stay a couple days with bay it gives me definitely like curl up cuddle romantic vibe if for no other reason than warmth because girl it was hypothermic it really was nevertheless <clears throat> it has been an amazing stay last night we just turned on some 90s r&b and dance and i had a couple of beers and we were trying to <laughs> teach one of the guys at the camp how to do the cupid shuffle i was lit i couldn't get it together you might have been by the way you messing him up 
It was so fun. And then we had dinner. Dinner was late. I don't know if that's customary or if it was because they were waiting on another big group. So we didn't have dinner until like 9 p.m. So by the time we had dinner, we were done. We were like, it's cold. We have to go back to our tent. But they actually did a whole like drumming circle. So if you come, just make sure you enjoy everything. The other thing they do here, y'all, are ATV rides <clears throat> and camel rides. Um, I unfortunately really wanted to do an ATV ride, but waited too late to book it. So I'm of the belief that you shouldn't do everything the first time you go someplace because why would you have an incentive to go back? So next time I come, that definitely is going to be on the list. Today's itinerary includes the EU St. Laurent Museum. We just got to get there. We are about 40 minutes outside of the Medina. And we got to check into our hotel and then get dressed. Don't know if it's the elevation or if it's me. Mountains are right there, so I feel like it's the elevation. Look, isn't that freaking beautiful? Y'all, I am in the desert. How is this what I wake up to? So we are going to secure the transportation this morning. Have some delicious breakfast, I hope. I'm craving some juice and of course coffee. Uh, and then we are headed back to the Medina. Rock with us for our last little bit of time in the desert. Y'all, I literally cannot wait to come back. Just the hospitality has been so thoughtful and so kind. The only thing I can complain about is how cold it got last night. But who am I gonna take that up with? I'm gonna write God a Yelp review. You know, that <laughs> that is what it is. <laughs> but everything last night was just magical. Seeing the stars so up and up close and personal. He pointed out Mars, all these constellations. I'm pleased. <sighs> Let's get the rest of the day started. We are in the taxi headed to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum. Um, we actually checked into a new hotel. It's called Riyadh 72. Didn't have much time to show it to you all because we were rushing to get dressed, like gorilla style in the lobby dressed. So I am first gonna show you around the museum. If I can, I've heard there's very limited photography. Uh, we're gonna have lunch there. And then when we head back to the hotel, I'll give you all a tour. Back at the Riyadh, 
it is stunning y'all i mean uh, i'm sure i've inserted some b-roll but words cannot express what this is giving. I don't think I've ever stayed at a hotel that I love as much as this. It feels quaint, it feels secluded, but it also feels luxurious. It's just all the things. Like it gives you the luxury of a Four Seasons or I don't know what's more luxurious than that because I don't be staying there. But it gives you like the luxury of a five-star hotel, but it also has so much character and so much culture until, I mean, you're in Mary Cash, so it gives you Mary Cash. And I highly, highly recommend it. Service has been impeccable. Had a little snafu with the definition of early check-in before we got here, but it's all fine. They stored our bags, and you would have caught us running out to the Yves Saint Laurent Museum. Could not film at all inside, um, just for obvious reasons. Flash photography is just prohibited because you want to preserve the artifacts. Um, but I was absolutely in love. And I talk a lot about being in luxury retail before I became a solopreneur, but I don't always say the brand I worked for. It was Saint Laurent. So you already know I was in heaven, like I was kind of making the connections between the pieces that he designed and then um, how they were reinterpreted by Anthony Vaccarello while I was there. It was a whole vibe. Highly, highly recommend that as well. Tens across the board. And at the time when you book that ticket, you can also book a ticket to the um, Blue Garden or the Gardens. Is it called Majorelle Garden? Majorelle. Yeah, the, the, the Jardin Majorelle. Um, and we thought that's a ticket we had, but it was not. So make sure you click that additional box because all of the gardens tickets were sold out for today. I mean, it was packed. The lines were super long. Um, it was around 12 when we got there. So if you're going, I probably would recommend first thing in the morning or sometime in the evening because it probably would be really nice to catch sunset, a sunset there. I actually don't know if we're going to be able to go back. Our schedule is just so packed for the next few days. Tomorrow we're taking a waterfall tour. And then the next day, our last day, we will be doing some cultural sites and also visiting the soup. And so we're packed. We are packed. But again, as I said about the ATV ride, something to look forward to next time. Um, our room, we have a suite, actually has um, an upstairs, has a balcony that has a hot tub, but the hotel also has a rooftop pool. And I didn't realize that from their website. So I am wearing my swimsuit. I am going to go and lay out the first lunch. Lunch is over. I had a hamburger and french fries. Sorry, not sorry. I don't know, y'all. It was just calling my name. And the bread was so soft and delicious. Make sure this ain't my OnlyFans content, girl. It's the right one. She likes to pop out. Um, I have to say that the menu isn't very extensive here. Um, it is a very beautiful hotel, as I have mentioned, but if you're coming to like do everything in one spot, this may not be the hotel for you, or you may just want to consider making reservations or going out to eat at other restaurants. It's pretty limited, <clears throat> but quick fix, you can get it done. We had not eaten all day, and we just needed something really quick. This hot tub is everything, and it's going to be even better tonight when the sun goes down and it's cool outside. So. I will be back, trust me, um, because they split our reservation in two. I told you all that Imani is here for work, and so they booked us, or her, for one night in the suite and for another night in a traditional room. Um, the great part about this hotel is that you can't find a lot of places in Marrakesh, and probably in Morocco writ large, it's a Muslim country, of course, is cocktails. I've had wine or beer everywhere we've been so far, um, but a cocktail, a beverage beverage, you cannot get everywhere. And the bartender comes here at 5 p.m. Uh, looking forward to that, okay? They have a whole lounge area. It's covered. It's indoors. You can also get service at the pool. I am just, y'all, one thing about me is if I can just be at the hotel, like be just one spot, for me, that is the beauty of vacation. I'm not doing any consulting work all week. I'm creating content, which can be intense. But even with that, I'm gonna give myself a few days where I post nothing, where you will only see what I've been up to in the vlog, because I do wanna be present and enjoy the rest of the trip. So speaking of which, I'm about to leave the hot tub because it's about 
84, 85 degrees or so today. So that's pretty warm to be in the hot tub. But last night I was so, so cold in the desert. Oh my God. Until I feel like my the cold reached my bones and I'm still trying to get it up out of there. Um, but now, as you can see, uh, it's pretty warm. <laughs> and so I am getting ready to go to the pool. Let's go to the pool together. actually very, very cold. As soon as I stepped my feet in, I was all. So we might just put our feet in. <laughs> We are at dinner at Lao, which is a French, I think, infusion restaurant. It looks like it's probably in the downtown area on the fifth floor, so I'm gonna show y'all the view. But just get into the vibe. Good morning, good people. Uh, Imani and I are getting a uh, dress slash made up gorilla style. <laughs> oh gosh, just, you know, the life of a content creator with a very tight schedule. Uh, got up super early, like 6.30, and just hit the ground running, trying to do all of the things before our world waterfall tour today. Uh, uh, just have to remind you to make sure you take out as much cash as you feel safe with when you are coming to Marrakesh. And I had a time with even finding an ATM that would accept my card this morning. And uh, yeah, so <laughs> not the easiest start in the morning. We have not had water. We have not had coffee, milk, tea, nothing. Not a banana, not an almond. We just out here thugging it for sure. So we are headed to the waterfalls today. They are located in a Berber village and so we will have lunch there. The Berber people are the original people of Morocco and we'll get to see the waterfalls and I think also take a boat ride. I am uh, extremely, extremely overdressed for the occasion. Uh, but I've already told y'all I dress for myself, not for the circumstances, so there's that. I'll show you what I'm wearing when we get out of the bus. Um, it's probably about a 15 passenger bus, and so we'll take this for a few hours. Until we get there, we'll stay all day, and then we will head back to Marrakesh this evening. Uh, this is our fourth day here, so <coughs> we have one more full day before we head out back to the States. First, look at my shoes. Now, look at the terrain. The devil is so busy. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. You can tell from the sweat, this has been a very difficult excursion for us. But get into the view. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. Rock the boat. A couple of songs for this occasion. I was thinking, don't go say some more. Of color were on this trip, <laughs> and we could have given you our cultural 
specification. <laughs> Let me put this camera away. All right, y'all, we made it. And we came up no less than 3,000 steps to make it, which was very difficult, but we're here now. Let me show you the view for lunch. We are now at the end of the waterfall tour. Just saw some very lovely monkeys. I low-key have a monkey phobia, because I think that they can be much more aggressive than people know. But, you know, fed one. I feel like we made a connection. And I was good in the world. So we have a very long trip back to Nabadina from where we are. It's about three hours. I'm for sure going to fall asleep, get some rest, and then we'll see what happens tonight. I may just check back in with you all tomorrow, but the view from here is breathtaking. Hey, good people. It is another day in Morocco. Specifically, it is our last day in Morocco. Another day at Riyadh 72, or it might be 72 Riyadh. Either way, everywhere that I've stayed, everywhere that I've eaten, all the cultural immersions that I've had will definitely be linked in the description box. But Today I'm so excited because it just got real quiet out here. Today I'm really excited because I'm getting ready to go to the souks. Um, Imani's gonna do some cultural tours and things like that. Um, I originally had planned to do those with her, but I'm just a little nervous about having enough time to really explore the souks. And so that is gonna be my priority today. And then tonight we have something special that we're doing. I can't wait to bring y'all along. So I am talking to you now on my camera. I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna transfer over to my phone. So the footage is probably look a little different throughout certain times of the vlog. That's because I don't take my camera after I lost it in Miami during the right toenail season trip. I don't leave with it. Like unless I am with someone else who is helping me be responsible for my equipment. No, no, no. Let's get to today's OOTD though. I'm on the balcony at the hotel, by the way. Our room uh, we switched is on the second floor. It's room 15, it is lovely. But my earrings are by Sylvia Toledano. Same wrist that I've been wearing all week, Cartier. And then we have a uh, Free Maiden. Sunnies, y'all know these Cat Eye Sunnies by Fendi. The dress is Rent the Runway, but it is by AJE or Odd. There also was a two-piece set like this that I liked a whole lot. And then my shoes, which I'm sure you cannot see, are by Hermes. I'm not gonna wear my new Hermes sandals because they're really tight and I just wanna be comfortable all day. Um, and then I am just gonna wear a bag from the hotel that I can stick a few extra things in, like a bottle of water, etc. And we're out. Let's get it.
at the black owned black woman owned Riyadh in Marrakesh and it was divine y'all I cannot wait to stay at that property we tried to get in this trip however it was booked and it was booked for over a month so pro tip if you want to go if you want to check it out it will be linked down below uh they do weddings there they do retreats you can go for a day pass you can go for dinner which we did it's magical it is absolutely magical But as you can see, I am back home. This is me coming in as editing shy, okay? Uh, trying to wrap up this vlog. I would love to be able to show you all what I got. I actually mentioned that a bit earlier in this video, but we're already about an hour in, so we're gonna wrap this thing up and you all let me know down below if you wanna see what I got. Um, She's already in rotation. So that's one of the things, okay? Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for sticking around this long. If you have, I know you are subscribed to the channel and you are following me over on IG. In the meantime, I will see you people cross the internet. Peace.